Hey, what's up guys? B-Boy here bringing you with another gaming notebook review. But this time, it's a entry-level gaming notebook, the MSI GL62M7RD. So just to give you a perspective, uh, a couple of months back, I also reviewed their MSI GP62MVR7RF. And that gaming notebook has a 1060 GPU inside, plus it's already VR ready. Now, this one, I can say it's the smaller brother since in terms of the build, size, and form factor, it's very identical in any aspect. I think the only things that it changed is the internals. Now, the base model only comes with a 4GB of RAM, but the review unit that I have here has a 12GB of RAM, 1050 GTX Pascal GPU with 4GB of VRAM, processor is using a i5-7300HQ, clocked at 2.5GHz, storage has also 1TB hard drive, although it has a M.2 SSD slot available for expansion, which is again, the unit that I have here doesn't come with that one. The display is a 15.6 inch Full HD TN panel like the GP62 MVR. The screen has flex and you need two hands to open the hinge. But the viewing angles is okay, although there is a slight contrast change when viewing on the sides. Build material is matte finish but still prone to finger smudges, but it's lightweight and thin which measures only 29mm for the thickness. For the trackpad, I was surprised that this one is really responsive and smooth experience. Even for the keyboard, it has a nice key travel and key separation but unfortunately, no backlits for the keys. On the left side, ports included are the Ethernet port, 2 USB 3.0, 1 HDMI port, 1 mini display port plus the new USB Type-C and the microphone slash headphone jack ports. While on the other side is a USB 2.0. SD card slot and the power adapter port. And inside, we can still see the cooler booster fan button, dragon center, and power button. At the back, it has the same sports looking air ventilation for better air cooling. Opening the device is very easy, just remove the screws, and the back panel will show the six heat pipes, two RAM slots, one regular hard drive, and the M.2 SATA drives plus the speakers. In terms of the speakers, actually, it's just average in terms of its loudness. Now, in terms of performance, most modern games are playable on high settings, but most of them are just 30 FPS on average. But for most competitive games, it's far above 60 FPS, but you can always lower the settings to get more higher frame rates. Rendering video took only less than 10 minutes for a full HD 1080p 3 minutes footage. So overall, for the GL62M7RD, if you're planning to purchase one, I recommend upgrading the RAM to get more benefit in terms of performance. But the great thing here is that the base model will still have additional performance gain since it has a expandable M.2 SSD, also a storage upgrade plus again the RAM. But if you have the budget to buy the higher configs, let's say the 1060 model, that will still be a better choice. But if your budget is really tight and you need a laptop that can play modern games plus good productivity performance which is also lightweight to carry around and not too big to put in your backpack, which only costs less than a thousand bucks or that's 50,000 pesos in the Philippines, then put this in your list. So there you have it. That is my review of the MSI GL62M7RD. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And once again, I'm B-Boy. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.